Hello doctors and FMG aspirants. Myself Dr. Sasi. I cleared my FMG in Jan 2023 with a score of 238. And I completed my NEET PG with a rank of 1401 in 2024. With my experience and expertise in NB pattern of examination, today I am with you with must know and most important topics for your upcoming FMG examination. Next it is what it is the pharmacology. This pharmacology topics, they are mostly integrated with medicine. So remember one thing, this pharmacology there will be 15 to 18 questions in your main examination. If you read this must know topics, for sure you will get this 13 out of this 15 to 18 topics for sure. Fine? So don't miss it. And the first important topic it is what it is the phases of clinical trials. In this phases of clinical trials, what you need to know is that whether we are choosing them as healthy people or the patients. So healthy people or patients. Next one it is that what we are doing, what we are measuring. We are measuring this maximum tolerable dose, efficacy or efficacy testing. So you should remember all of these things in phases of clinical trial. The next important point it is what it is the graph of efficacy and potency. So we'll they will draw this graph of efficacy and potency and they will ask you which of the following drug, drug A, drug B, drug C, which of the following is the most efficient or most potent in nature. Fine. And recently they started asking about this formulas even. And few drugs in our general pharmacology you need to know which are what? They are the enzyme inducers and enzyme incubators. Fine. And about the ANA system, you need to know few drugs for sure. They are what? They are this physostigmine and pyrostigmine. Physostigmine and pyrostigmine, their uses and this OPC poisoning and carbamate poisoning and their uses. Like in a case of OPC poisoning and carbamate poisoning, which of the following drug you will use for the treatment? Atropine and pralidoxine. And if there is any toxicity of this atropine, how will you manage? So it is the same like OPC carbamate poisoning and atropine uses and its toxicity. And here also you need to know about this anti Parkinson and anti Alzheimer's drugs or Alzheimer's drugs which is used. Next you need to know about this sympathetic drugs and its receptors like adrenaline, noradrenaline, dopamine and dobutamine. So all of these drugs how in which receptor they act. And you should know about this beta 2 agonist. So read about this Saba and Lava. Okay. Next we will move on to other some more important topics in the pharmacology. If you see some more topics, it is what it is the heparin and warfarin. Like mostly this heparin and warfarin, they will be asked about their side effects and their usage in pregnancy. Like when you will use heparin and when you will use warfarin. Fine. And now they started asking about the newer generation of anticoagulants. Even. So remember to study this newer generation of anticoagulants and just see the side effects of heparin and warfarin. Fine. And about this antihypertensives, you need to just study like antihypertensive management in specific cases okay in different clinical scenarios how will you manage or how will you provide this antihypertensive treatment fine and ACERB mostly they will ask about their side effects mostly they will ask about what they will ask about their side effects and which of the following drugs they are used in congestive heart failure it is the most important topic in both pharmacology and medicine perspective as well fine and about the statins they will ask about their mechanism of action, uses and the new drugs for this hyperlipidemia. Fine. And for peptic ulcer, they will ask about this drug regimes. Mostly they will revolve around this drug regimes and the side effects of PPA. Fine. And in JIT, now they started asking about the drugs affecting the motility. And the next one, it is what it is the side effects of the drugs which is used for the constipation. Okay, it is the side effects of the drug which we use for constipation. Fine. And the next important topic it is what? It is the osteoporosis. You need to know everything about osteoporosis because there will be three perspectives. In gynecology also you will study, in pharmacology also you will study and in ortho also you will study. So remember, so you need to know about all the drugs, oral and IV drugs of osteoporosis. Fine. And next one it is what? It is the generations of antihistaminics. Like what is the difference between the generation 1 and the next generation of antihistaminics. Fine. Next about the CNS, you need to know about the anti-epilepsy drugs. Mostly about the phenytoin and valproate. They will ask you the side effects of this both drugs. Okay. So remember about this usage and its side effects. Fine. And this drugs usage in gout in both acute and chronic gout. They will ask about the drugs which are being used in acute 
and chronic gout. Fine. So these are the drugs which are used for this acute and chronic gout. Now we will see few more drugs. You need to remember about this antimicrobials, just this mechanism of action. Don't deep dive and don't memorize much things into it. Just remember the mechanism of action, it is more than enough. Fine. In a case of antimicrobials. Whereas in a case of anti neoplastic drugs, you need to know this mechanism of action and also the side effects. So, two things you will remember for anti neoplastic drugs. They are what? They are the mechanism of action and the side effects also. Fine. And antidotes you should know must and drug of choice of all the conditions it is an optional one you were able to remember all the drug of choice it's well and go if not just remember the important ones fine so with this understanding we got to know like which are the important topics from the pharmacology point okay just remember one thing that time is now so you should make use of this pdf or this video for sure and if you able to make use of this video, you will be able to get your pass mark and you will be able to get maximum mark from your FMG examination. Okay. I am waiting to see you with the other side with colorful colors of passing the examination. Thank you for watching the video. Bye-bye.